Hi everyone, so, so happy to be here. I'm so happy to have cleaned this data. As you can see, this is my dashboard from the New York City Green Taxi Project. And I'm going to take you all through how I was able to get here. The first thing that I did was to actually uh, get the CS CSV file. And this is what that file looks like. It's a data set of six tables in CSV format. You have the just special map. Uh, I also have the four taxi trips table, totaling 200 or 28 million taxi trips in New York City alone from 2017 to 2020. I also have in this data the pickup dates of the drop off times and locations, distances, fares, passengers, and more. I also have the, as you can see here, the 450. Uh, 454 calendar that you can see the fiscal year if, if I click on it you get to see the fiscal year from uh, the fiscal calendar from 2017 to 2020 the year the quarter uh, fiscal month number and so on and so forth then we also have the taxi zones these are about 265 taxi zone locations in New York City where you have the location ID the borough the zone the service zones and this was all really, really, really cleaned. We have the data dictionary, the key measures, and of course the taxi zones map um, where we're able to get this uh, sorted. So we got the, the, the combined taxi trips for the period of time to, to actually uh, get us to this point. So this is my dashboard, and this is how it looks like really. And in, in the very first page of the dashboard, I'm going to go here uh, to, this is the home page to page one. You are going to see how the data was cleaned for us to get to this point where we have the total trip count of about uh, 26 million. How we were able to do that, um, if you just click on that, it will take you to the key measures where we're able to uh, calculate the total trip count um, and this is how we did it. Total trip count is also count, combined taxi trips, pick up dates, and that is how we got our total trip count. So we went ahead to have the average trips per day, 17.94 um, um, K. We have the average fare collected, $12.28. Uh, That's $12.28. The average distance covered 2.86 miles, and the average trips per week was 123.6. 1000 and this is just our focus we're able to look at it at uh, the total trip count of it, uh, uh, more than 41000 over a period of time and we're able to ask ourselves yeah, um, in, in a period of time where um, last year we could see that our focus really shows that uh, there's going to be a decrease in 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 people who are actually going to take taxes. Of course, if we look at the COVID-19 and the focus was actually uh, correct. So the total fare collected by keep pick up a uh, week year, this, this is uh, the, the visualization tool for that, the focus for that. And then if, if we look at the total uh, trip counts per week, and week one, week two, week three, week four, with five, with six, it just you get to click on one of them, and you see it's going to affect all of the of of the data. As you see, in week in week five, we had the average total trip count of four million compared to um to, uh, and then we will have week six, the average um average trips per day, in week six. Um, was still uh, 2.79 2 and we're able to generate this geospatial map here from procreating uh, uh, the total trip count by borough in New York City and the pickup year if we click on 2007 you could see that the data changes uh, in 2007 we had a total trip count of 2 million and uh, in 2008 in 2009 we had a total trip count of 804,000 in 2008. We had a total trip count of a million, a billion, pardon. And then we had 
uh, in 2020 had a total trip count of 165,000. So you could see that our focus was actually uh, uh, predicting correctly. And uh, in the years to come, the trip counts could actually go uh, quite lower. Okay, And there in New York City, Manhattan seems to have the highest number of, of trip counts. But this will be much clearer in the, in the second and the second uh, visualization. So we just take it up there to page two, where we have the same um, green city, green uh, New York green taxi report with a different color templates, beautiful designs, you know. And then we just go here to uh, page three, where we have further analysis of uh, New York taxi projects where we're able to really get to see an interactive an interactive dashboard where we get to see total trip count by average average fare we got to see the total fare collected over a period of time and then here we see the total fare collected by borough Manhattan, of course, seems to have the greatest number of the count of location, like people who were actually being located at that point in time. Then we have here a data set showing the fair amount, average fair collected, total distance, total amount and trip distance by the location ID. So um, and everyone that gets to get on board a taxi is being recorded per se. Right, and then we have the latest pickup time by uh, pickup day. So each and every one of these, uh, each and every one of these uh, data set contains the average time that we could consider to be uh, fair enough for any pickup time and drop off time. And here we have the trip distance, the tip amount, payment type, total amount, all visualized here for us. So if we want to just get to know what exactly uh, in Brooklyn, the total fare collected was 115.2 uh, million. That's like 35.8%. So if we click on that, it's going to um, really affect the rest of our charts. And then now we have a total fare collected is 115. Uh, right here, we could confirm that you could see 115, uh, 115.24. Uh, million and the total trip for uh, for the total trip for Brooklyn was eight million uh, eight million trips. So we can just get back here to our home page, and then um, that is just it. This is our page one. This is our page two. This is our page three. So thank you so much. Um, Quantum Analytics for an amazing project that was given to us during our internship. Uh, it's been an amazing journey with my colleagues and friends and team members. And I wish to say a very big thank you to everyone that assisted me to build this project and to work with the team to get to this level. It was really tough cleaning this data. And we spent hours and hours trying to make it work. And yes, uh, we've gotten to this point and I'm so incredibly grateful. And of course, really, really happy. Thank you.